Welcome back to another episode of Fabulous Makeup, y'all. Today I am doing some false lashes, y'all. They're going to be semi-permanent too. A little do-it-yourself eyelash tutorial. I think a couple of weeks ago I did a couple of looks where I didn't apply any lashes because I already had lashes on. That was because they were the Ardell individual lashes that I had done for the first time on myself. Um, I had never done individuals before. I always looked at them, but... I was a little bit scared on how to do them, so one day I just was looking at them for a long time and I was like, I'm just going to do it. You know what, if they're going to last a long time, then you know, it would be cheaper than buying lashes all the time. But I went ahead, bought some lashes. The first time I tried this glue, I was a little bit um, annoyed because instant gratification from me. I liked it to be dry almost instantly before I put it on my lash. And this stuff takes just a little bit longer to dry than the regular lash glue, like the clear white or black glue that you get in some of the packaging from Ardell. This stuff takes a little bit longer because it's supposed to last a little bit longer. These lashes, the first time I did them, lasted a week. I was really impressed because one, I had done it for the first time, and two, they lasted a week, and I was like, oh. actually, I think they might have lasted almost like a week and three days, maybe, but I was really happy. And the last couple of looks I did with those lashes on, a couple of people asked me what lashes they were, so I had to tell them they were Ardell Lashes individuals. They don't really have a number, they just come in medium, short, and long. I got the short and medium lashes today, so those are the ones going to be showing you. I honestly didn't know that they came in different lengths, I just grabbed them really quick, I'm like, I just gotta do it! But I noticed, again, when I was studying them, that they do come in medium, long, and and short. So I did get the short and medium. I don't know what I got the first time. They could have been long. They could have been the medium ones. We will see what happens today on the length of these ones. They look about the same length and they look pretty long. But very interesting to wake up, be able to see my eyelashes. It was very, very, very weird. And also to look in the mirror every day and to just be like, popping eyes all the time. I was like, I'm kind of liking this, but it's a little weird. So these individuals don't come with the glue and the remover. Some of the individual lashes, I think the 112 lashes come with the glue remover and these little tweezers. I wouldn't call them tweezers. I think I, I mentioned these maybe on my Snapchat about how I stabbed myself in the thumb with these because they're so sharp. But, so be careful with those. These are the um, pro tools. So we will get right into this tutorial if you've never seen me before. Hello lovely, welcome to my channel, welcome to the craziness. If you like this tutorial and you are interested in seeing more, don't forget to thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also give a share to invite your friends to the fab fam. You know how we do. Give some love, get some love. And if you're a returning member, welcome back lovely. Pop a spot because we're getting into this tutorial. So the recommended thing is to take the lash tight adhesive and apply it to like some kind of flat surface, a piece of plastic or something like that so you can have just a puddle of glue. I, for the first time, put it on the back of my hand. Don't recommend that. So basically what I did was I kind of tilt it and then I dip the lash into it, just the tip of it, and then apply it that way. That works for me. Some of the glue does drip out. Some of the glue kind of stays at the top of the bottle. So you do have to kind of pay attention to how this glue. This glue seems to be the glue that stays at the top and doesn't seem to drip. So um, I'll probably use this one and just be able to dip it in. But just be aware that some of the glue will sometimes drip out. It, I don't know what the difference is, and if it's the consistency or just the top itself. I don't know. A little tiny bottle. I haven't actually used a remover because I left the other lashes on for so long that they just kind of came off gradually and I didn't have to worry about it. So um, if you want to prematurely take them off, they do come with a remover. So I'm going to start with the short lashes because I want the inner part of the eyelashes to be a little bit shorter than the outer part. Have a little bit of a gradual wisp. I just want to zoom y'all into my Kool-Aid here. Whoop, wrong way. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Gotta get my things in order here. Let's go ahead and take this off. Just, just give me it. All right. And then I'll hold it kind of at the end here. Dip the ends. You don't want to have too much glue because if you have too much glue and once it dries, you'll have a hard clump. You don't want to have too much glue, but you don't want to have too little. I had to teach myself what the ratio was. And these are the short ones, like I said. So these ones will go kind of more towards the front. I'll apply it at the base of the lash and I apply it right on the eyelash hair rather than the eyelid. So just let that sit, kind of maneuver it as it's drying and I don't touch it too much. And then I'll just go in with another one. There's another short one. Give a little dip by this right next to it. These lashes come in threes rather than singles. So there's actually like three individual lashes connected to each other. Boulder lash, I guess. I might need more glue for that one. So right now I have three of these short individual lashes on. So I'll go ahead and open the medium lashes now. And I think I will apply maybe probably two of the medium lashes on the outer edge because I have enough space for that. So it looks like a total of one, two, three, four, five individual lashes for this installment. I think I had maybe six or seven on the other ones, but that was because, again, I was beginning. But I'm, 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 I'm learning. I can get the mediums out here. I want to say that you look, they really look similar in length, but we'll see. Good, because I'd be bad. See how much glue is actually on this? This is how much glue is on it. You can barely see that. Hopefully you can see, maybe you see that on camera, but. 
kind of gently press it, get some contact on there. And you definitely want it more on the eyelash itself rather than the eyelid. That's what's going to help make it stay longer. One more medium. Sometimes you just gotta use your fingers. And y'all, I like I say, I have curly lashes, so trying to get this to blend, sometimes is a process. So I use the glue as it's there and mold my lashes around it. So I'm gonna let this dry for maybe five or 10 minutes and then I will be back. So it's been out five to 10 minutes and I went ahead and did my brows real quick because I was getting tired of looking at that. Here's what we can see as far as when they're dry. And this is what the other eye looks like without any lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other eye off camera and then I will be back. Okay, so I am back and I have both lashes on right now. This one is still kind of drying, but I managed to successfully get them back on and I'm happy. I'm happy with how they applied this time. Second time around, y'all. Okay, that's four. Well, hopefully this was a comprehensible tutorial for y'all. If it was, don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe. Join the Fab Fan because we, you know we got a lot more coming up to this channel. A whole lot more. I got a lot of things up my sleeves that don't exist right now. Stay beautiful inside and out, y'all. Let your lashes, you know, carry you away to your dreams. Pick up a stiff wind as well, as I like to say. And stay beautiful inside and out. Much love, y'all.